Okay, a square root function, um, remember, you don't ever see the two, but the two is really there. That's why we're squaring. All right, it still behaves as a h k. So your So it's still the same where you go opposite what you see for h, but you follow what you see for k. Okay, because remember, this is like a semi-parabola, meaning it's just a sideways parabola because this is a root function, a square root function is just the inverse of a parabola. So that's why it has a lot of the same characteristics as a parabola does. So the terminology is the same. It's just there's no max min because it's now a sideways. It's a sideways graph. Okay, and you guys have seen it from you typing. Okay, what's the value of A? Three. Three. H. Positive or negative? Negative. negative. H? I mean, I'm sorry, K. Sorry, K. Negative four. negative four. Right? Okay, is the orientation positive or negative? Because this A value is positive, it's going to have this positive orientation. So because of the A value being positive, it has a positive orientation. So it's looking in this direction. Okay. Oh, so I guess I should just write positive. It's the upper side of the semi-parabola. Okay, so then what's your vertex? Three, negative 11. Not three, go down one slot. You gave me a h h k. H k. Look at h. Uh, look at k. <laughs> uh, negative 11, negative 11. Very good. So remember, vertex is always h k. Okay, axis of symmetry. Yes, you have one, but remember, it has to pass the vertical line test. So although you don't really see that horizontal axis, right? If it's a parabola, it's a vertical. Um, axes, but if it's hor but if it's a square root, it's a horizontal, right? So if it's axes, but it's always it's gonna be now. Before it was the h value here, it's your k value. So it's y equal negative four because well, you'll see when we graph tomorrow. Okay, don't worry about this too much. Okay, so um, you don't get tested off of this or quiz. Okay, domain and range we'll do when we graph it. And behavior, we need to see the visual. So, you know, tomorrow, Desmos and so forth. Okay, function notation though. So let me let me copy the function here. Okay, just so we can focus. All right, so what's the value of f of zero? So get a calculator, type it in. I'll eventually show you what I typed, but what do you substitute the zero and what do you get? And it's okay if you get a decimal. So you might get a weird number that they give you a simplified radical, but you can hit SP and get the decimal. What's your number? I'm gonna lock the door since I keep closing it. What do you get? Substitute it, what do you get? Take that zero, plug it into there, what do you get? Tight, tight. Push the buttons. Not your texting. Negative four plus three is Yes, but hit the SD button now. So hit above the orange, hit that. Perfect. Yeah? Right? Which you just substitute. F of zero. So let x equal zero. Put it into the function. Type it in. You're going to get a simplified radical. So even though this is correct, we want something that's uh, right, that's graphable. We can plot it, so 5.9. And then don't clear it, and now what's f of 12? What do you guys get? That's, that 
thought you should be able to do it in your head. Oh, actually, no, I take that back. I thought it was addition. Never mind. What do you get? Ten point three or ten point three. Mm -hmm. Do you guys are you guys trying it? Because I would hope you're getting your partner to type because you guys aren't all partnered with Brandon. <laughs> yeah? No? Yeah. Right? Just put in the twelve. Substitute. So 10.4. Okay, if I'm looking for the value of x that gives me this output, and I'm looking for, I put the question mark just in the beginning, but afterwards I'll just leave it blank. What's the value of x that gives me the negative one um, output for y? That means you have to substitute for the y value, and now you have to solve using your inverse operations. Let's make sure I can copyright though, right? Okay. And then see if you guys can solve it using, I'm going to put what the answer is, so I'm not going to show you exactly right now. Okay, here I think you get negative seven. And wait, did I do that wrong? here see if you guys can inverse operate solve it like what you guys were doing yesterday see if you can come up with it and then like tomorrow yeah and then either tomorrow we can solve it but see if you can come up with your inverse and you can come up with that and then tomorrow we're going to graph this that's why i'll start it that way yeah so turn it off okay you should get negative seven and negative ten 